But yeah, today we got a very special guest coming on the Kenny Burns Show. Uh, he's a hometown hero from my hometown, uh, one time for the DMV, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Um, he has a new documentary coming out. It's called uh, Basketball Country. Something is in the water. And if you're from D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, you sure know there's something in that water because we have a, a very special offering and at times really don't get the credit uh, we deserve uh, in the universe. But this brother that I'm about to bring on, man, he's done more than his share of put the city on his back um, and show what hard work and dedication can truly be. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring on the young lady, Kevin Durant. You know, here on the Kenny Bird Show, we give everybody flowers, y'all. So when y'all see him pop up, I need a round of applause in the comments, please. I need a round of applause. What's happening, champ? Hey, what's up, champ? How you feeling, How you doing, man? man? I'm good, man. You know, good to smoke. see you, man. We, we we miss you on the court. We miss you dunking and shooting from half court and all the amazing <laughs> things you do on that court, boy. Man, I appreciate that, man. I miss being out there. Hopefully, we get out there soon. Well, look, the the blessing is you're healthy, healthy now. See now, yeah. yeah. They, look, they don't let you rest the whole year. You got ten years <laughs> worth of energy in you now. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's good, man. What side of the coast you on, baby? I'm in LA right now. Hanging out, working out, working out, doing my thing, staying in the house. Where you at right That's now? We in the A. We in the A. How the yeah, family we, going? We, where they good, man. Your youngest is balling. Thank you for yeah. lacing them every drop. Of course. I appreciate you. Of course, of course. Yeah, Kenny. Kenny just finished TSF, man. So he's uh, yeah. you know, he got uh Fresno State and I think Kennesaw State are his top two right now. But he working, man. I'm proud of. That's him. up, man. That's up. I like to hear it. And you know, Colin, they won state at Wheeler. He had on your shoes when they won state. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate that, dog. Of course. All love. All love. We got some big news, man, with this documentary. But before I get into the documentary, I want to give you your flowers, man. First and foremost, you, you hail from the, the DMV. And it's important, man, when people like yourself make it out, um, that we celebrate them. And I want to go back a little bit before we get into the doc. But, man, you are all American. You are a McDonald's all American coming out of high school. Being successful and winning wasn't new to you coming out of high school. And not only did you play in the All-American game, which was holy grail for high school players, you won the MVP. How was that experience coming out of high school? It was cool, you know, representing where I come from. And our game was played in San Diego, so traveling across the country, I wasn't really going across the country like that. But to represent PG County and to, you know, represent Texas where I was going, but to also play well in front of all my friends and family on TV. You know, that was the first time they really seen me on TV. It was a special moment. So that kind of propelled me into where I'm at today because everything just hit the ground running after that. Yeah, but I think, you know, just success is in your DNA and it comes from hard work. You know, I'm sure we're going to see a lot in this new documentary, Basketball yeah. County, about your journey and just other players from the DMV. But you went straight from high school to the University of Texas, um, and, and your jersey's retired. You played one year of college basketball. I just yeah. want to go through your accolades. You had the Naismith College Player of the Year Award. You had the NABC Division I Player of the Year Award, the AT, AP Player of the Year Award, AP All-American First Team, Oscar Robertson Award, Adolph Rupp Award, J.R. I mean, um, yeah, Wooden Award, Big 12 Player of the Year, and National Freshman of the Year yeah. at Texas, bro. What, yeah. I mean, you went in there and annihilated the whole Yami. Yeah, I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was set up. You know, I had a nice team, nice coach. You know, they just let me go in there and do my thing, and some good things came out of it. I had a, I had a fun time, man, special time. And to see my jersey retired up there, you know, in a different part of the country, like I would have never thought, you know, in middle school, elementary school, that I'd play basketball in Texas, you know what I'm saying? So to take that journey and go down there was cool. That's awesome, man. And, like, you had the skills clearly to go to the NBA. Like, you you were there. You went, you annihilated in college. But mm -hmm. what was that college, like, that one year? What did you get from that that you, take, you took forward? Well, just being on my own. The day after I, uh, I graduated high school, that next morning, I had to go down there by myself. You know what I'm saying? So I spent, and I spent, wow. you know, six months down there just getting to know different people, just getting to know a different, a different culture. Because you know where we come from, there's nobody like that around the country. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get used to something else. So going down to Texas where it's slower, it was, you know, different types of people at, on campus. It was like I was saying, 
10 new people every day, you know, so I had to get used to that. So I just grew up a little bit. I just figured out what my flow was as an individual. I started to think for myself, having my own mind, and, you know, I just I just started to grow from there. So it was a, it was a needed experience. I'm glad I was able to go to college. Yeah, man. And being away, because I know you love your mother like I love mine, so being away from my mother that first year yes. was like, what? Oh, I, I yeah. got to tell you a funny story. We were um, – at the, your mom was there. Where, where were we at? We were at the National Harbor for the Urban One Awards. I guess they were yeah, celebrating yeah, yeah. 40 years, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm on stage, and I don't know if she told you this, but I'm literally on stage, and I'm going back and forth with Jamie Foxx in the audience. And we were talking oh, about okay. somebody the greatest, I said, greatest of all, of all time. We know, we know who the greatest of all time is, and nobody said a name. Your mama dog stood up like Kevin Durant, the whole crew. What? <laughs> I'm talking about, and it was in D.C. That's it was baby, in man. D.C., so you know the whole cr Hey, she love you, boy. That's I'm talking about, baby, she like, we know. know. And so all night long, I'd be like, you better ask Kevin Durant, mama, who the greatest of all time is. She, she, she like yeah. my, she's like my That's sister. That's a beautiful thing, man. I love y'all relationship, and I love when you got that MVP. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I think, you know what, a lot of us growing up in D.C., man, like our parents had us young, and we just had that certain connection with them that was bigger than mother and son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Parent nah, to, sure. to child. Like, we, they was like our people. Yeah, yeah, we spent a lot of time with them, you know? So my passions were her passions, you know what I mean? So she supported me like she was on the team. So and she still do to this day. So, you know, I was grateful to have that in my life. That's beautiful, man. All right, so we leave college with all those awards, and we're about to get into this documentary that 35 Ventures produced called Basketball County, something in the water. But I really want to talk about you leaving college, man, and going to the NBA. I mean, Kevin, not only were you um, a two-time All-Star, I mean, your rookie year, you won Rookie of the Year, first team All-Rookie. I mean, you won the Rookie Challenge. You, were in, you know what I'm saying? Like in the, in the All-Star. I mean, yeah, the Rookie Challenge All-Star, yeah. the MVP of that. Two-time NBA All-Star game MVP, four-time NBA scoring champ, six-time all NBA first team, 10 time NBA All Star, two time world champion, two time finals MVP. Yeah. I mean, dog, like, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not yeah. done, but if yeah, you were, yeah. those are some hell of a stats. Yeah, I man. I mean, it's, I had so many great teammates and coaches, and, you know, you never could do anything on your own, but <clears throat> just knowing that, um, I had so much support and so many people every day from coaches that work with me and try to help me hone my skills on the day to day. You know, it kept me it kept me in it. And then just having my friends and family, you know, there to give me a different perspective on things and keep me grounded. You know, I just had so much support over these years and I couldn't accomplish none of that without those people. And, but to go out there and play at the highest level against some of the best ever, you know, I'm just I'm just grateful I'm living this dream. Yeah, the dream is real. Yeah. So um <laughs> 35 ventures, man. Y'all are in business. You're doing great things. Mm -hmm. You have, um, you know, the board that you have, and you have these amazing conversations about culture and sports. But this this documentary, man, Basketball County, I'm so looking forward to it, man. You got, you know, some of, some more hometown heroes, Quinn Cook's in that thing, Beasley's yeah. in that thing, yeah. all the depot. Tell, tell us about it. It comes yeah. on tonight on Showtime, by the way. Yeah, come on at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Uh yeah, just just wanting the basketball community to know, you know, the guys that I looked up to coming up in, uh, as a kid that paved the way for me and Lynn Biases, the Walt Williams, the DeMar Johnson, Steve Francis, like so many of those players and Keith Bogans and Joe Fortes, a lot of guys that did make the league as well. Like it was just so much influence around that area and, you know, traveling around the world to play basketball, not too many people know about it. So I just wanted to inform people of, of – you know, the level of play that we got in our area. And hopefully, you know, they, they enjoy what they see tonight. And you will see, it, you know, a lot of different characters. got a lot of different journeys throughout, you know, you know, with this basketball journey throughout, you know, us making it to the league and making it through college from Quinn Cook to Vic to myself to Mike Beasley to, to DeMar Johnson. Like, just knowing their story a little bit, seeing their journey, I think it would be cool for basketball fans, something to enjoy, especially right now during these times. That's awesome, man. Quinn Cook said he had five people on his team went pro. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. DeMatha is a is a real nice part about DeMatha and what they meant to the county and to the basketball culture as a whole, you know. So, yeah, that DeMatha team, they always produce pros. And, you know, that's, a, that's another part of the documentary I'm excited about people seeing. 
That's awesome, man. And Kev, you know, I, I, I hear this all the time, and it's not really up for debate. You being 6'11", almost 7 feet, whatever it is, wingspan, 20 feet, like, yeah. you dribble like a guard. You have a jump shot from anywhere on the court. You will dunk on – like, I've never seen a score like you. I mean, Michael Jordan is, the you know, arguably one of the greatest players or the greatest player of all time. But as far as scores, you and AI, I mean, I'm talking about get to the bucket, get it – I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's up for debate. I mean, I'm just grateful to be born at the time I was born because there's so many basketball players that came before me that I watched, you know, and I tried to take from everybody, from AI to Kobe to KG to Mike, uh, obviously, and Larry Bird. To, so I just try to take small parts of each of their games and put it in the minds and try to be prepared for any situation. And I guess that turned me into some, a well-rounded player. So I always wanted to be just be, – be a guy that can do anything on the floor and I only learn from just watching the grace before me, you know. You're you're a you're a killer. I I don't I don't accept that. I mean I accept that. Big big no, props. But you to know, all I know, no, I know what goes on. I know what's, what I'm supposed to do on the court. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what I gotta do when I'm out there. So that's the killer no, mentality. Listen, you are you are the legend of your era. You are a genius on that court. You are a master at work. Appreciate sorry, it, I got Appreciate you. Nah, thanks. bro, but it's 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 a pleasure to watch. So so tell us how do you feel about this season? Like, I mean, I know you're ready for next season because this season's pretty much a wash, but what do you yeah. see happening? I have no clue. I mean, I have no clue. I thought it was going to be a, a month or two until we get back. I thought, you know, we had some scenarios that can work, but I just don't know. Each day is something different. It feel like each day we're learning more and more about this virus. Like, so I can't tell right now. Hopefully we get back to playing and people get back to working. So. I, you know, I, I work, I work and get back to normal. But for now, I had no clue. That's crazy, man. Well, at least you have other ventures like Thirty Five Ventures, yeah, and yeah. you making content. So, what else you guys coming out on Thirty Five Ventures? Big shout out to Rich Climbing too. Yeah, so we got a we got another series on Apple Apple TV um, that's coming out just based around another you know basketball center thing, but more so uh, community based like culture based basketball series and uh, you know so that should be that should be cool you know just trying to trying to produce more content find more stories around what we love to do what's authentic to us and you know just keep growing you know it's fun being in this space that's awesome we got to figure out how to tell the rayful edmund wayne perry story oh, without yeah. the, you know we got we got to yeah, try yeah. to figure out how to do that yeah katie because that because what i don't think people realize about Washington D.C., I used to call it the drive-through. I'm slightly older than you, so when I was, but they're older than me, so I'm in the middle, and I'm looking at how everything came through Howard University, really, mm -hmm. and they would come to the city. I'm talking about the drug era, the whole. But yeah. it's a fascinating story, man, and I think you are the yeah. catalyst to tell it with 35 inches for real. For I real. mean, there's a lot of people in our city that are, that can tell that story. I think we all should come together and and break bread on that and make sure we tell that story the proper way because. You know, I'm still a young fella, and I still got a lot of stuff to learn, a lot of knowledge to gain. So the OGs around the way, like yourself, a lot of guys that I met growing up, we should all tell that story. Yeah, because Kurt, Kurt Bone is home. There's people home yeah, that didn't yeah. tell. There's people like people that we could take in. Because my the only reason I never doubled down on it is because both Wayne and Ray had some weird, you know, whatever happened. Yeah, and and yeah. I just – but but they used to give so much to the city, bro. Like, mm -hmm. even, like, yeah. going to get Alonzo Mourning to talk about it. Like, he was – so, anyway, it would be something to talk about on the side. For sure. Man. Another For 35 sure. venture production. For sure. That would be dope. Well, listen, man, we are rooting for you, Kev. Um, the way that you attack the game, man, your work ethic, it, it inspires all of my nephews. I'm, all of my nephews – my sons, my adopted kid, they all watching you right now. They love you, and it's the work ethic. You don't talk about it. You be about it, and I think that's something in the water. I think that's the, the secret sauce and people that come from where we come from. We we strap our boots up, and we go to work. Appreciate you, man. And just just your influence on the game and, and us as kids and seeing what you did for the culture, uh, you know, we really look up to that. We really appreciate what you bring, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you always look to – you know, unite all of us coming from that area. So I appreciate you, man. And I'm always, we brothers for life. So I'm always, you know, looking out for the fam. I want to do whatever I can to help. So, you know, I appreciate your influence on us all. All bro. love, man. Well, keep using your voice. 
We got a big election coming too, Katie. Keep using using yes, your voice. It's important and you matter, champ. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Okay. Love you, boy. Right. Keep going. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. One time for the legend Kevin Durant, ladies and gentlemen. I just want y'all to know we were uh, uh, supposed to go at 3 o'clock, but the boy was working out because that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? So salute him, man. Continue to support him. Follow at 35 Ventures on Instagram. The board is another platform they have. Um, and we have some real dope stuff coming up, man. And again, thank you for staying by me this week. I'm sorry that I wasn't on every day. I, I've been grieving. I'm not really used to grieving. I'm, I don't, you know, I, I compartmentalize and I put in, in the, you know, put it away. But I had to go through my process this week, and I appreciate you staying down with me. And um, next week we have some very special guests as well. So stay tuned. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And put your arms around your people, man. The dream is real. All right, love.